The doctor prescribed Ampicillin 2.5 gram in 250 milliliters of normal saline IV to be administered over 45 minutes every 6 hours. The nurse has IV tubing with a drip factor of 15 GTT per milliliter. At what rate in drips per minute should the nurse administer the IV Ampicillin? Record your answer using a whole number. First, set up the formula, total volume times drip factor over time. Total volume is the total amount of the prescription in liquid form. Drip factor is GTT per milliliter. And time is how long it will take for the prescription to be administered. Make sure you do not get confused with every 6 hours. This is how often you will administer the medication and not how long it will take to be administered. The memory trick to remember this formula is TV makes you deaf over time. The next step is to add the unit answer, GTT per minute, because the question is asking at what rate in drips per minute should the nurse administer the IV ampicillin? Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with drip factor, because it is usually given to you, so for this problem is 15 GTT per milliliter. For total volume, you will plug in the doctor's order in volume, which is 250 milliliters. And for time, you will plug the time that will take for the prescription to be administered, which is 45 minutes. Since everything is in the right units, like milliliters and minutes, no conversions are needed and we can start calculating it. 250 milliliters times 15 GTT per milliliter divided by 45 minutes. Milliliter cancels out and the answer is 83.33 GTT per minute. The last step is to round to a whole number. And your final answer is 83 GTT per minute. The client receiving 750 mg of deptomycin and 75 ml of normal saline IV over 45 minutes every 24 hours under the care of the nurse. The nurse is using IV tubing with a 45 GTT per milliliter drip factor. At what rate in drips per minute should the nurse administer the IV deptomycin? Record your answer using a whole number. First, set up the formula, total volume times drip factor over time. Total volume is the total amount of the prescription in liquid form. Drip factor is GTT per milliliter. And time is how long it will take for the prescription to be administered. The memory trick to remember this formula is, TV makes you deaf over time. The next step is to add the unit answer, GTT per minute, because the question is asking at what rate in drips per minute should the nurse administer the IV deptomycin? Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with the drip factor, because it is usually given to you. So for this problem is 45 GTT per milliliter. For total volume, you will plug in the doctor's order in volume, which is 75 milliliters. And for time, you will plug the time that will take for the prescription to be administered, which is 45 minutes. Since everything is in the right units, like milliliters and minutes, no conversions are needed and we can start calculating it. 75 milliliters times 45 GTT per milliliter divided by 45 minutes. Milliliter cancels out and the answer is 75 GTT per minute. So, 75 GTT per minute is the rate in drips per minute that the nurse should administer the IV deptomycin. The doctor writes the following order, infuse 2 liters of D5 half normal saline with 75 mL equivalent potassium chloride over 48 hours, reads the instruction. The drip factor is 25 GTT per milliliter. How many drops per minute will be administered? Record your answer using a whole number. First, set up the formula, total volume times drip factor over time. 
Total volume is the total amount of the prescription in liquid form. Drip factor is GTT per milliliter and time is how long it will take for the prescription to be administered. The memory trick to remember this formula is TV makes you deaf over time. The next step is to add the unit answer GTT per minute because the question is asking how many drops per minute will be administered. Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with drip factor because it is usually given to you. So for this problem is 25 GTT per milliliter. For total volume, you will plug in the doctor's order in volume, which is 2 liters. And for time, you will plug the time that will take for the prescription to be administered, which is 48 hours. But you will notice that we need to do some conversions. The total volume is in liters, so it needs to be converted to milliliters because the question is asking in milliliters. And the time is in hour, so it needs to be converted to minutes because the question is asking in minutes. First, convert liters to milliliters. 2 liters times 1000 is 2000 milliliters. Plug this answer into the formula. Now convert hours to minutes. 48 hours times 60 minutes, because you have 60 minutes in each hour, is 2880 minutes. Also plug this answer into the formula. Now that everything is in the right units, like milliliters and minutes, we can calculate it. 2000 milliliters times 25 GTT per milliliter divided by 2880 minutes. Milliliter cancels out and the answer is 17.36 GTT per minute. The last step is to round to a whole number and your final answer is 17 GTT per minute. So 17 drops per minute or 17 GTT per minute will be administered.